The demographic landscape of the world is rapidly changing, and no country exemplifies this more than China. With its vast population of over 1.4 billion people on the brink of collapse, China's demographic challenges pose unique economic and social implications for the nation and the global economy. This video will analyze the factors contributing to this alarming trend and its effect on the country and the global environment to help you understand this situation better. Current Chinese Demographic Landscape The Latest Population Figures and Trends Population Size It's still the most populous country in the world with over 1.4 billion people. Birth Rate Its birth rate was 10.645 births per 1,000 people in 2023, a 2.36% decline from 2022. Zhang Lui created this luxury maternity hospital. For the midwife, the decline in births is alarming. Median age. The population's median age is 38.2 years, which may continue to rise in the coming decades. Aging population. The share of the population aged 65 and over may increase from 10% in 2020 to 35% by 2050. An aging population and shrinking workforce. The dependency ratio is increasing due to the growing number of older adults and a smaller working age population. This aspect greatly burdens the working age population to support and provide for older adults, negatively impacting social welfare systems. It's essential to note that the shrinking workforce is also causing labor shortages, particularly in specific industries and regions, resulting in rising wages and reducing the business's profit margins. Gender imbalances and their consequences China has a long history of gender imbalances due to the one-child policy. As a result, there are now an estimated 30 million more men than women in China. What China did not realize is that after decades of one-child policy, it was also left with a skewed population. In other words, a gender imbalance, the biggest in the world. This gender imbalance is causing several negative consequences, including an increase in human trafficking as men seek to marry women from other countries, an increase in violence against women as men feel entitled to have a wife and children. If many men remain unmarried, it could further reduce the potential for childbearing and perpetuate demographic imbalances. Causes of Population Collapse in China 1. The One-Child Policy and Its Legacy China's one-child policy was a population planning initiative implemented between 1979 and 2015 to curb population growth by restricting many families to a single child. Couples who violate the policy could face fines, loss of employment, and other penalties. This policy was successful in reducing the birth rate. It helped slow the Chinese population's growth, which peaked at 1.4 billion people. 2. Social and Economic Factors there has been a shift in attitudes toward childbearing in China. In the past, having children was seen as a social obligation. But nowadays, many people are choosing to have fewer children or no children at all due to the following social and economic factors. Changing social attitudes. There has been a noticeable shift in social attitudes towards marriage and child rearing in recent years. As Chinese society modernizes, many young couples choose to delay or forego having children due to factors such as pursuing education, career opportunities, and changing perspectives on family planning. Rising cost of living The cost of living has been increasing significantly, making it financially challenging for many families to afford to raise multiple children, hence why most couples prefer to have at least one child. Rise of the middle class the Chinese middle class is growing rapidly, leading to a change in lifestyle and values. The middle class is more likely to be educated and have higher expectations for their children. As a result, they are less likely to have many children. Availability of contraception. Contraception is more widely available in China than ever before, making it easier for couples to control their fertility and choose the number of children they want. Three gender roles and work-life balance. Traditional gender roles in China often burden women with childcare and household responsibilities. As more women enter the workforce and seek career advancement, the challenge of balancing work and family life becomes more pronounced, 
leading to fewer children or delayed childbearing. Migration patterns and urbanization effects. China has experienced a massive rural to urban migration in recent decades. This trend has led to a decline in the birth rate in rural areas as young people move to cities for better opportunities. Although the country is among the most urbanized countries in the world, this aspect has also led to some challenges. They include high cost of living, shortage of affordable housing, and lack of access to quality childcare. These challenges have made having children more difficult for couples in urban areas. The Economic Impact of China's Population Decline 1. Labor Market Implications The composition of the labor force is expected to change, with a larger share of older workers and a smaller share of young workers. This aspect could lead to challenges for businesses, as they will need to adapt their workforce to meet the needs of an aging population. A shrinking workforce could also lead to labor shortages, especially in sectors that rely on young workers, such as manufacturing and construction. Coincidentally, an inadequate young labor force increases the wages and salaries threshold for the available workers since employers are competing for a smaller pool of talent. 2. Impact on Productivity and Innovation A population collapse in China may result in a decline in the number of individuals engaged in research, development, and innovative activities, potentially limiting the generation of new ideas, technologies, and productivity. 3. Potential challenges for sustaining economic growth. A shrinking population can reduce consumer spending, as fewer people in the workforce have disposable income. Lower domestic demand can affect businesses and industries relying heavily on domestic consumption, potentially slowing China's economic growth. If certain regions in China experience more significant population declines than others, economic dependency might shift. Areas with dwindling populations may rely more heavily on migrant workers from other regions, leading to potential economic development and stability disparities. Geopolitical Ramifications Since China's geopolitical strategies and ambitions are closely tied to its economic strength and influence, a population collapse could have unfavorable implications for its global standing and geopolitical pursuits. Let's take a closer look at how its current demographic statistics and trends may affect the country in the global landscape. China's role as a global economic powerhouse. China has emerged as one of the world's leading economic powers due to its large and dynamic population, providing a vast labor force and massive consumer market. Big anniversary in China today, Sumi. Today marks 40 years since uh, the country's economy opened up to the rest of the world, a move that ultimately turned China into a global economic powerhouse, second in GDP only to the United States. Unfortunately, the imminent population collapse might affect investor confidence in China's long-term economic prospects. Foreign direct investment, FDI, and capital flows to China could be influenced by concerns about the sustainability of its economic growth in the face of demographic challenges, its influence on international trade and supply chains. Since China plays a crucial role in international trade and global supply chains, a population collapse could result in these implications. A. Supply chain disruptions. The country's manufacturing and export-oriented industries could face disruptions due to a smaller labor force and potential labor shortages. It will negatively impact the production and export of goods, potentially affecting global supply chains and prices of their manufactured products. China's manufacturing slowdown deepened in May amid a drop in consumer and export demand. Analysts are saying that signs are pointing to a lethargic economic rebound following the end of strict COVID-19 controls in the country. B. Relocation of production. If China's demographic challenges significantly impact labor-intensive industries, some manufacturers may consider relocating production to other countries with larger and younger populations. C. Influence on trade agreements. China's population trends could also influence trade agreements and negotiations with other countries. When formulating trade policies and agreements, trading partners may factor in China's economic challenges, effects on China's geopolitical strategies and ambitions. A population collapse could lead China to prioritize domestic concerns over international aspirations. 
This shift in priorities may result in reevaluating China's geopolitical dominance strategies into a more inward focus on short to medium term domestic stability. With a shrinking working age population, recruiting and maintaining a capable military force will become more difficult. This factor could affect China's capacity to assert military dominance or pursue geopolitical interests through military means. Social and cultural consequences. Change in family structures. Traditionally, multi-generational living arrangements have been common in China, with several generations living under one roof. But this current demographic trend is causing an increase in the proportion of elderly individuals. This demographic shift will likely result in changing family structures, with more families facing the 4 to one phenomenon, where one child is responsible for caring for two parents and four grandparents. Increased demand for elderly care services. With a larger elderly population, there will be a growing demand for elderly care services, including health care facilities, home care services, and assisted living arrangements. Meeting this demand may strain existing healthcare and social welfare systems. Gender dynamics and societal shifts. 1. Changing roles of women. As family sizes decrease, women are experiencing a change in their roles and expectations. With fewer children to care for, women have more opportunities to participate in the labor force and pursue careers, increasing gender equality in certain sectors and professions. 2. Intergenerational equity concerns. The demographic shift may give rise to intergenerational equity concerns. As the elderly population grows, younger generations may feel the pressure of supporting an aging population while facing challenges related to housing affordability, education costs, and job opportunities. Responses and policy measures. Chinese government initiatives to address demographic issues. As China grapples with its population decline, the government has introduced various initiatives to tackle this issue. These efforts aim to address the declining birth rates and promote family planning, ensuring a stable and sustainable population for the future. Policy changes and reforms. The Chinese government has implemented policy changes and reforms to incentivize childbirth and ease the burden on families. One notable change is the relaxation of the infamous one-child policy introduced in the late 1970s. Now, couples are allowed to have two children, and some regions have even adopted more lenient policies, permitting couples to have three children. Welcome back. Well, experts say China's decision to allow couples to have up to three children may not actually do much to grow the younger population. They point to the high cost of living and education. But the government is pushing for a younger workforce to drive its booming economy. CNN's Scott McLean has more. Additionally, the government has extended maternity leave and introduced measures to support working parents, such as providing affordable childcare services and improving work-family balance policies. These changes aim to alleviate the financial and logistical concerns that often discourage couples from having children. Incentives and Support Programs The Chinese government has implemented various incentives and support programs to encourage childbirth. These include financial benefits for families with more children, such as cash rewards and tax breaks. China's State Council has outlined that as of January 1st, parents' individual taxable income can be reduced by a total of 1,000 yuan or 157 US dollars per month for each baby under the age of three. The deduction can be applied in full by one parent or be split evenly. Local governments also offer families with multiple children housing preferences and educational advantages. Enhanced public awareness. Furthermore, the government has launched public awareness campaigns promoting the importance of family planning and the benefits of having children. They aim to change the societal mindset surrounding childbirth and address lingering concerns about overpopulation. Comparison with other countries. In comparison to other countries, China's demographic decline is particularly pronounced. For example, the United States population is also projected to decline in the coming decades, but the decline is expected to be much slower than in China. It's because the United States has a higher birth rate and a lower rate of aging than China. Lessons to be learned from successful responses to population decline. 
Apart from China, other nations dealing with similar demographic challenges can also draw important lessons from successful responses observed in countries facing similar issues. For instance, Japan has proactively implemented policies to mitigate population decline, such as investing in technology-driven solutions and creating opportunities for women in the workforce. Furthermore, a comprehensive approach that addresses population decline and the underlying societal factors contributing to it is essential. It could include measures to support work-life balance, create affordable childcare options, improve healthcare infrastructure, and promote gender equality. The new Chinese demographic data is a wake-up call for the country. It shows that China needs to take urgent action to address the population decline, or it could face serious consequences in the future. If you found this content informative, kindly like the video and subscribe to this channel. Want to learn even more? Click here to watch the next fascinating video.